Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bit Slip on Monday, the twenty second of August. Um, how are we? Karma. There's always karma in the world. See, I've been on holiday, and since I've got back, it's been an absolute disaster. Um, yeah, a disaster. Um, I had to move my boy. He's faffed around. I've I've been up. He's got currently lives in a flat by the Oval. He's moving out of London um, to the outskirts of Kent. Um, to to in his defence, he'd booked the holiday. We booked that, that the holiday we've just had. We all booked it ages ago, so he didn't know he was going on holiday. But um, his girlfriend got a new job. Uh, they moved and it coincided and hope sort of in this period of the holiday so I went and moved a load of his stuff um, back here before we went away and sorted out some bits because he was renting a flat in London you know fixing holes in the walls and things where they've had pictures so been doing that before they went away uh, and then I said to him you've got to sort out getting the keys and obviously you've got to wait for all the legalities and things going through and then he couldn't get the keys because of the train strikes because he hasn't got a car where he lives in London um, and he couldn't get over on you know on the days they weren't working since we've been back anyway he then uh, lets me know Saturday that they've got the keys um, and uh, he's good to go can we move go and empty the flat out properly and move the stuff I've got on that Sunday um, Gary Smith will love this because Gary Smith had offered to help me Sunday and I didn't want to mess you around Gary so uh, I couldn't confirm and say because I didn't know that we were going to have the key so Gary had offered it Gary's got a great big van he said I'll drive help you move I thought that'll be lovely Gary asked me I said I, I, he's messing about Gary faffing around I can't commit to it so um, I didn't disturb Gary. I thought I can't let him know last thing Saturday night. So I went and picked the van up Sunday. Um, I've gone less than half a mile and I've smashed it up. I shouldn't be let out for manual work. Uh, it was a uh, Peugeot long wheelbase boxer um, manual. I haven't driven a manual vehicle. I've got, uh, we got automatic cars i haven't driven a manual vehicle since um i've got no excuses i haven't i'm going to try because that's what men do but i've got no excuses uh i haven't driven a manual vehicle since um the last time i moved him which was two years ago i moved him into his flat in london um went and picked this thing up it was immaculate i have to say i hadn't rented a van off these people before and they probably won't let me rent one again absolutely immaculate it was perfect it only done about 1200 miles it's the cleanest thing i've ever seen it's cleaner than when i had my flipping vasectomy done in the hospital it was it was unbelievably clean to the extent it was almost too clean, everything was slippy. Where they polished everything, it was all just slippery. You, the, I only had a pair. I don't know what people call them, like little, really flat, sort of small trainers. I call them daps, but some people call them pumps. Other people call them. To, uh, I only had those on. Didn't have a lot of grip. As I got in, I could feel my feet slipping on the sort of plastic floor. The steering wheel was all slimy to touch. When it had all been polished, clean as anything, but just you know, it needed roughing up a little bit if anything. Um, so I could feel my feet um, there. They'd given me all the spiel. They'd taken all the photos. They said, uh, oh, it's only got, it's just above the ridge. You're going to need some fuel. There's literally a petrol station half a mile, not even half a mile. I'd say it's a quarter of a mile down the road from where I've rented the van. I've um, thought, right, I'll just call in there and get some fuel. So picked the van up, pulled in there. There's a McDonald's co-op co-op car wash and the fuel pumps i didn't even know car washes were the thing there's about four or five cars all queuing up for the um fuel so i've come trembling in this garage there's a mercedes bmw nice cars all queuing up to have these car washes pumps are on the left car washes on the right the queue of cars is on the right so the gap that i would normally go through is narrowed by the width of these cars i thought oh don't hit the cars don't hit the cars so i'm nudging past them all easy there's a black e-class ironically that's what i used to have before sam went by and flipping tractors and i um i'm just staring at this car thinking please just get past that there as i've got past it i've turned the wheel too soon and i've worked wiped out petrol pump number eight 
I have um, there's like a, a metal red and white pole. I mean, it's red and white. Guna colours stands out, obviously, so you can see it. Didn't see it. I've just gone straight into that, past that, into the corner of the um, fuel. Um, didn't know my vehicle. Didn't know the width of my vehicle. Too busy concentrating. I didn't obviously got no rear mirror. I meant to use my me wing mirrors properly. Didn't use my wing mirrors. I've got no mitigating circumstances. My foot slipped then off the pedals because of the floor. I am going to that there, but absolute fucking disaster. So since I've got back, Jodie's been taken to hospital. Uh, she collapsed in Malta. They found a tumour on her brain. It's an arachnoid sac, but she's got something else going on. So she's in hospital for an MRI. This, this arachnoid sac, it's like a, a benign cyst. Well, they found that looking for other bits. She's sort of had vertigo type illness for a while now, but they, they said it was Meniere's disease. Now they've said they're not. So since we've been back, she's been rushed to hospital. So Sam might have to go out to Malta um, this week because uh, struggling with childcare. Um I'm smashing vans up while I'm out doing that yesterday. Uh, amazing, I try to make it look good. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just You lose all sense, don't you? I try to make it look good. Um, there'll be loads of people loving this because people do wish they like me having bad times. I don't know why. You're all a bit sick. Um, and then while I'm there, do you remember those of you who listen to the pod regularly? I told you about the neighbour who, who knocked on the door and said can I take her to the doctors and basically pulled her trousers down um, and then she invited me back in a few weeks before I went on holiday um, and started telling me she wasn't speaking to her old man because she didn't want to have sex I don't know whether I told you that one that was a surreal experience anyway I'm out yesterday the thing come ring doorbell comes up on my phone oh somebody at the door I thought oh Sam's home it's alright it's probably just an Amazon delivery she's ordered something um, wasn't it was the husband um, the poor woman's dropped dead. She's had a heart attack. Um, while, while we were away, she had a heart attack and died, and we didn't know it. Sam had lent her a stool a while back, and he knocked on the door with the stool and said, uh, here you are. And Sam went, oh, no, you can keep that. He said, well, haven't you heard? She said, what? And she said, oh, no. Um, she's had a heart attack, and massive heart attack, and died. So... Yeah, everything has just been an absolute karma, see? I, I, I'm, I'm jumping up and down because um, Chelsea and West Ham sometimes in life you just got to laugh, and you? you just got to laugh. Uh, but when you get your good moments like that, there's always a little bit of karma to balance it off. Um, so, yeah, yesterday was an absolute fucking disaster. Um, so, yeah, I'm waiting away. I've taken the van back this morning. They've... Um, they, oh, old oh, Smithy's laughing now, isn't he? See, so shouldn't be let out, guess. Manual work. I'm not built. Some people are you built to use their brains. That's me. Other people are built for manual manual work. Even even the sport I chose, golf. See, it was a thinking man's game. Yeah, you. It's all about the brain. It's not so much about technique. It's more about do this. Think it. Think your way around. Football betting. It's all about using your noggin. Manual work. Not for me. Absolute disaster. I've got nowhere to go with it. Um, couldn't believe I was mortified. I'm still mortified, but I was absolutely. You know, when you hear that, I heard the noise. I went, oh no! And all these cars. I mean, they must have been pissing themselves. Nobody said anything, but they must have been pissing themselves. The cars that are um, lining up for the car wash. They must have thought, what an absolute Egypt we've got here. Um, so yeah, so I've taken the van back. They've just taken a load of pictures and said they'll let me know. And I've um, whacked the. Um, and wait to hear from the um, garage. There we go. Happy days. Beautiful. Um, been a real, other than the holiday, been a real year. Not necessarily, just not, I mean, that's just a one off. I haven't had a disaster for ages, but just bad news. Just, you know, things, people being ill, whatever it may be. Um, anyway, there we go. Yeah, don't get me. That's my removal career finished. I've, I've said to uh, my boy, if you move again, leave me out. Get some people in. Um, absolute faffers as well. That doesn't help them faffing about moving. It's all are they all their fault? Um, right, where are we? Um, 
I'm going to do uh, right. We're going to resume mind pit set pods. I'm going to do it slightly differently. I've been doing the pod and then trying to do the write up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the write ups on the website. I think it, a few people have asked me about this, and I think it's really key. So um, I'm going to go back over what I've done. I'm actually going to write some stuff up. I'm going to post it on the website as a blog post, and then I'll record a pod based on that, which I can pad out a bit more. But instantly, then you'll be able to go and see what's on. So I'm going to get that done this week. Um, obviously the football season is now under full swing we've had the, all the league start um, Germany, Italy played a couple of games now so that will be off and running um, there's no midweek football at all this week it's literally dead uh, I think there's some some Euro cheap Europa stuff whatever it is Europa League or conference not interested um, on um, on Thursday but other than that there's nothing there's Champions League draw for those of us in the big leagues um, I think that's this Thursday um, but from Friday, um, obviously trading and everything will start fully. Uh, I'm going to try and share some more in the Telegram group um, trades. I put one up this week. Obviously, we've got the golf. I don't think there'll be any golf this week. There's only 30 players at East Lake for the Tour Championship. Uh, I will have a look, but I'm not sure that I'll be getting involved with such a small field. Um, Can't lay winning yesterday, but hopefully people who followed me were out uh well before that I mean we literally had 50% plus available on day one um, golf's gone really well so I'll have an update on that once this, this is sort of the, the close of the season this one and then we'll be looking to next season so I'll have an update on that um, those of you who've been following the racing trial they had a nice winner yesterday there'll be an update on that um, ultimate I know guys we've had a couple of sort of file fixes we have automated everything um, and it's just when you're producing so much data and getting everything to go in the right place it, and, and I'd never gone down this road and Alistair obviously I'm trying to convey everything to him either in writing or verbally um, but I think we're pretty much there now obviously the sheet we haven't run is the Poisson sheet and we'll run that um, when the first games which will be early September but hopefully then as I've said in the emails those files will then just go up sort of 8.15ish every Friday when we're done um, so yeah so we can move on to um, you know with all that out the way holidays out the way move on a lot to helping you guys um, make the most of everything and get it going um, um, what else have we got um Oh, and Lingfield stuff. The people who are in Lingfield will be sorting that out over the next couple of weeks as well. Be sending you out some menus and things, hopefully. Um, I just need to see where I'm at with that and what they've sent me. Um, get the menus booked for the Lingfield day, which is the 12th of November, I believe. Um, so lots coming up. Uh, lots going on football wise wasn't it beautiful I mean it's never nice to see the Gooners win but they played it I mean I, I do love our chat room I love it I absolutely I mean apparently Palace are brilliant and this team's brilliant and they're going to be brilliant and Newcastle are brilliant and everybody's going to be brilliant I mean obviously there's just no shit teams there's always shit teams in the Premier League it'll all settle down um Arsenal haven't played anyone yet. I mean, couldn't have really. I mean, no Palace away, good win, but who have they played? Fulham and Bournemouth. You're talking about two sides that have come up. Um, let's not get too excited yet. I mean, what it is, it's a fantastic start confidence wise, gets you off confident, and you've got all the big teams at home, I think, bar um, United. Uh, not sure they're a big team anymore. Um, but you've got all those teams at home. Um, pre-Christmas I think uh, so you're either going to win the league because you'll just dust all them away or it's going to be a monumental collapse in the second half of the season when you've got to go away with these uh, to all these big teams um, Chelsea no, I didn't see yesterday but sounded amazing um, the three all I saw Trippier's free kick on Twitter fantastic free kick uh, I still think City romp the league personally for me Um Newcastle, oh man, he's done so much better than I thought he would. Eddie Howe, fair play to him. Forrest seemed to be spending the world. Uh, Liverpool United tonight, United in real trouble. West Ham let yet to get a point, yet to get a point, yet to score a goal, West Ham. Uh, you've got to laugh. I remember sitting in a pub with a bloke telling me last, this year, this year, this calendar year, telling me how massive they are and this, that and the other. I haven't got a point. I tell you what, if you don't beat Villa next week, 
Uh, you could be well into September before you get a point. You've got Tottenham coming up, Chelsea coming up. Um, Villa's a massive game for you and, and Villa. I mean, aren't you just lovely, aren't you? You've gone from should be England manager, Gerard Ball, should be England manager, to predicting West Ham, who haven't scored a goal yet for Villa nil. I mean, if if ever there is, that is a reflection of society. Everything now, there's no middle ground in anything. Everything is completely and utterly polarised. You are either one end of it or you are the other. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, every single topic. So Villa, complete and utter overreaction to a guy who... All I said was, how do you know he's going to be any good? It's a two-team league. Whatever anybody says, and I don't mean to cause offence to our Scottish friends, it's pony. It's a pony two-team league. Anybody could go into one of them two clubs and manage them, and you've only got to beat the other team. That's the bottom line of it. And I know we've got Motherwell and Dundee and Hibs and Hart supporters, but that is the facts of it. It's the, the longest league in the world where only two teams have won it, whatever it is, 40-odd years now. Uh, so he goes up there, beats a Celtic in a little bit of disarray after um, Rogers left and the Neil Lennon era, whatever that was, uh, second go. Gets the job, and I said, hold on a minute, it's completely different managing in the Premier League. No, it should be England manager, Gerard Ball, this, that and the other. I haven't seen it. Every time I've watched Villa, I've thought they've been really poor. And I'm going back last year. I said I watched the Everton game last year because I wanted to see what it was all about. And Everton were terrible. And they still outplayed Villa in that game, even though they didn't win it. Um, I just don't think he's the man. Like, I don't think Lampard's the man. But you've gone from that, Gerard Ball, this polarisation to, oh, if fucking shit, he's useless, ain't got a clue. Um, he's probably somewhere in the middle. He's probably just not up to it. I wouldn't say he's shit and completely useless, but he's probably just not up to it. Um I'll be very, very surprised if either of them see the season out, Gerard and Lampard. I will be surprised, um, personally. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm staggered for for Gerard that he went there because I just think it was a massive gamble. I think he was absolutely nailed on to be Liverpool manager, and I think if he'd stayed in Scotland picking up titles, you know, even if he finished second, it wouldn't have been a disaster. Um, he'd have been absolutely nailed on to replace Klopp. Uh, there's a real danger now that you know you look at it and go, he ain't the boy. He's not going to be good enough. Um, and I just think for a guy who clearly loves Liverpool so much, I just thought it was a bit mad. Um, you know, a bit like Lampard going back to Chelsea and it didn't work out. And, you know, it's not money. These guys they've got fortunes of money. They don't need the money. Um, but yeah, massive game already. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm getting close to having to hold my hands up with Potterball, aren't I? Um, I mean, Brighton, fantastic run. Um, you know, lovely win yesterday. Beautiful. But I always hold my hands up. If I've got it wrong, we'll wait and see. I might have to hold my hands up there. We'll see what happens. It's uh, very early days. Um, you know, our mob haven't played great, but I've got results. Um, you know, tough game against Chelsea. Made it look really hard work. But I think Wolves will be better than a lot of people think this year. Um, I think they just make themselves so difficult to beat. Got a good record against big teams. Um, so I wasn't massively confident. And I was pleased to get through that game. Um, but it will be interesting to see once they all start playing each other. You know, when we go to Arsenal. Um, when we go to, you know, those sort of clubs. Let's see how we get on. Uh, see if there's a massive golf in the sides or not come then. But, yeah, that's it. Beautiful. It'll all settle down. And I don't know what happened in France yesterday. Um, I did fancy Montpellier. They went 1-0 up. Um, but France at the weekend, obviously, you had the goal from Mbappe last night in eight seconds. But what was it, 15, 16 red cards across the two French leagues last this weekend? I don't know whether they've changed the way they're refereeing there. But um, Montpellier went 1-0 up. And then Auxerre had somebody sent off. Montpellier had someone sent off. I think there was a penalty and they equalised. And then another red card. I think, I can't remember what. Was, I, I gave up in the end. I was trying to follow it on my phone just to see what was happening. I gave up in the end. Um, so, yeah, the uh, Montpellier bet was a waste of time. Um, right, that's it. I'll leave you all with it. Have a lovely... Um, Monday, I'm going to go and lick my wounds, um, and I will be back on, um, I honestly don't know at the minute, because I don't, my, I'm meant to be travelling up north, I've got Sam trying to go to um, Malta, 
I've got lots of things to sort out over the next day or so. So I may be back tomorrow, but I will be back later this week. Um, and as I say, I'm going to start um, back on the mindset stuff and doing that. Uh, and I will, by the end of this week, have settled into a proper schedule of podcasts. I've been trying to do it for about four years. Um, it feels but no literally I just want to get into right on that day that's the podcast you'll get in that day that's the podcast you'll get in um, but I'll keep you all posted over the time I, I kind of think some people like the haphazard bollocks of it anyway um, have a lovely week uh, the sun is shining enjoy yourself some of you are away with your kids and things I expect last few weeks of the school holidays um, have a lovely time and I'll be back with you on um, whenever <laughs>